Hi everyone, welcome to the third part of our single page web design series. In this video, we will start styling our web page. So in the previous video, we had written the markup of our web page. So let me just open this with live server. This is how our website looks right now. So let's go ahead and create our style.css file and uh, let's style this page. So we'll go over here and click on this icon called new file and we'll name the file style.css and before beginning with our style we need to first link this style.css file to our html so let's go to our html file and uh, here we'll type link and press tab and in the href you have to type the name of our style file so we'll just type style.css now let's just test whether our styles are working so we'll just type a universal selector and we'll just color all the text to red and uh, we can see that all the text is now red so our style is working so let's get started with the styles the first thing we'll do is uh, we will set all the margin to zero and uh, we'll also set the box sizing to border box when you set the box sizing to border box the height and the width of our element will not be affected by the padding so it is always a good practice to add box sizing border box to your universal selector now the next thing we'll do is uh, we will add our fonts so we have to first of all select a font this is a website called fonts.google.com and uh, here you can find free fonts for your website so the font that we are going to use in our website is called roboto condensed so we'll just search for roboto condensed and uh, we'll just select two styles from this font the first one is regular and uh, then we'll also select the bold one now on the right here we can see we have a tab called embed so you have to click on that and uh, you can import your font through HTML or even using CSS so if you go to import we can see that we can just add this to our CSS and the font will be imported or if you want to add it to your HTML file then uh, you can just click on this link and then just copy this line of code from here and then just paste it in your HTML in the head section Alright, we are done with the font. Now, if you take a look at the original design, we can see that we have a fixed width for our whole web page. So, for that, we'll create a container division to hold all these elements. So, we'll go to our HTML and uh, we'll create a division with a class of wrapper. And uh, we'll close this division after all our elements. So, we'll just close it after the footer. Alright, now we have a wrapper division. Now let's style this wrapper element. So we'll just target the wrapper class and we'll set the width to 1024 pixels and we'll center it horizontally. So we'll just type margin 0 for top and bottom and auto for left and right. And we'll set the font family to Roboto Condensed and Sans Serif. And then we'll also add a box shadow of 1 pixel, 18 pixels, 18 pixels, negative 5 pixels, RGBA, 0, 0, 0 and 0 0.3. Now let's take a look at the design and uh, here we can see our wrapper division and we have the box shadow and it is also centered. Now let's go ahead and style all the paragraphs. So just type P and we'll set the font size of the paragraph to 16 pixels and the color of the text to 07050D and the line height to 2 and we'll also set a margin of 24 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right so here we can see our paragraph and uh, we have this line height of 2 all right that's it with the paragraph now let's go ahead and start styling the navigation so we'll just give it a comment of header navigation and we'll target our header element and we'll give it a height of 100 viewport height. So it will set the height of our element to 100% of our window size and we'll also give it a background color of 07050D and we'll also set the overflow to hidden and uh, this is how our header looks right now. In this video, we will just style uh, the header section, the about me section and the work section. 
and in the next video i'll show you how to style the testimonials and contact me and the footer so now let's style the nav element but before that let's fix some things in our html in the previous video when we wrote the markup we can see that we wrote all our anchor tags inside one list item we have to have all these anchor tags inside separate list items so let's just correct that all right now let's go to our style.css and uh, we'll target the nav element and we'll set a background color to fd 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 and we'll set the display to flex so display is basically a way to arrange elements on a web page and now if you take a look at our web page we can see our logo on the left side and our list items on the right side now we have to set our logo on the extreme left and uh, the list items on the right so for that we have to just type justify content to space between and now we can see our logo is on the left and our menu items are on the right now we have to center our elements vertically so for that we have a property called align items and we'll set it to center and now we can see our elements are vertically in the center we'll also give a padding of 24 pixels now we want our navigation to stay at the top even if we scroll down so for that we have to set it to position fixed so just go over here and type position fixed and now we can see that it stays at the top even if we scroll down so let's just set the top position to 0 and we'll also give it a width of 1024 pixels we'll also give it a z index of 200 so that it stays above every element and we'll also give it a box shadow of 0 pixels 2 pixels 10 pixels negative 3 pixels RGBA 0 0 0 and 0 0.2 so that's it with the header nav element now let's style the menu items that is the unordered list so we'll type header nav ul and we'll set the display to flex and we can see all the elements are one next to the other and uh, we'll also set the list style to none so now we can see we don't have the bullets of our unordered list now let's give a margin to all the list items so here we'll type header now ulli and we'll set a margin of 0 for top and bottom 24 pixels for left and right now let's remove the underlines from all the anchor tags and we'll also set the color so let's target the anchor tags and uh, we will set the text decoration to none so now we don't have the underlines and we'll also set the color of the text to 07050D and uh, text transform to uppercase and we'll also set the font weight to bold and uh, we'll increase the font size to 18 pixels alright that's it with the nav section now let's target the hero section so I'll just give a comment header hero so if you go to the HTML we can see we have this division called hero container so we'll just target that over here we'll type header hero container and first of all we'll set the display to flex and then we'll set justify content to space between and now we can see that this section is on the left and the image is on the right we'll also align items to the center and since we have this fixed nav bar on the top we have to add a padding top to this hero container so let's inspect the element and uh, let's check the height of our navigation so if you hover over this element we can see the height of our nav is 76 pixels so let's set a top padding of 76 and we'll give it a height of 100% of the parent now let's target the left division so if you go to the HTML we can see in the hero container we have a division called left and then we have a division called right so let's target the left header hero container dot left 
and let me just give it a background color to see how wide it is now this is the width of our left element as of now now let's set a flex of 1 and now we can see that it takes all the remaining space after the image so let's remove the background color and we'll also give it a margin left of 100 pixels now let's target the paragraph with a division called I am so we'll type header hero container left p dot i dash am and we'll set the font size to 24 pixels color of the text to light gray and the margin to 0 so this is the text now let's target the h2 so we'll type header hero container left h2 and we'll set the font size to 64 pixels and let's set the color to light gray and we'll also change it to uppercase now in the original design we can see the second heading is shifted a little to the right so we'll target the second heading so for that we'll type colon nth of type 2 so this will target the second element and we'll set the margin left to 20 pixels so now we have this margin over here now let's style this button so we'll just target the btn so that is the class that we have added to our anchor tag over here so for the button we will give a background color of ff4d4d and we'll set the text decoration to none so that we don't have the underline and we'll set the color of the text to 07050d and we'll set a margin of 16 pixels top and bottom and 0 for left and right and we can see that the margin is not being applied that is because the anchor tag is an inline element so we had to change it to an inline block so we'll just type display and we'll set it to inline block and now we have the margin now let's set a padding of 12 pixels top and bottom 32 pixels left and right and we'll also set the font size to 20 pixels font weight to bold and text transform to uppercase so that's it with the button so if you scroll down we can see all our buttons have been styled because we have given the same btn class to all these elements now for the button in our hero section we need to have a margin left so let's target that specific button so we'll type hero container left button and we'll set a margin left of 20 pixels now let's style the social icons so we'll just target the social icons class we'll type hero container left social icons and we'll target all the images inside that and we'll give it a margin of 16 pixels and 20 pixels and we'll also set the height to 40 pixels so that's it with our social icons we'll also set a height to the image on the right so we will type hero container right img and we'll set the height to 580 pixels now let's style the about me and the my work section before that let's go to our html and uh, we will add a division to contain all the content except the heading of our section so this heading will be on the left side if we go to the original design this is how the heading will look and all the other content in our section will be inside another division so we'll create a division with a class of section content and uh, we'll wrap everything else inside that division we'll do the same with the my work section and we'll just keep the testimonials section as it is and let's do the same with the contact me section alright now let's go to our style.css and uh, let's style the sections so we'll type section 
and I will give it a padding of 100 pixels top and bottom 50 pixels left and right now we want the section content to have a margin left for the heading to stay here so let's target the section content and we'll give a margin left of 200 pixels now let's style the heading first of all we'll rotate it minus 90 degrees now we have to position it absolute so we'll type position absolute now let's add some more styles we'll set the color to CA 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 and font size of 54 pixels and we'll give a margin top of 80 pixels now if you take a look at the paragraph we can see we have a margin on the top and if we inspect the paragraph there's our margin now for the first paragraph of our about me section we need to remove the margin so let's go over here and we'll type section section content and we'll remove the margin of the first paragraph of all the sections so we'll type p colon first of type and we'll set a margin of zero and now we can see we don't have a margin on the first paragraph now if you go to the original design we can see we have this underline for the heading so we'll do that using a pseudo element called after so we'll type section h2 colon colon after and for the after and before pseudo elements we need to have a property called content now if we just type something over here we can see in our design after our heading we have this content so right now we don't want any content we just need an underline so we'll just remove that and we'll give a height of 10 pixels width of 80 pixels display of block background color of FF4D4D and uh, right of 0 and position to absolute so now we can see the underline right here after our heading we can see the underline over here on the second section as well now the last thing we need to do in this video is to style uh, the my work section so our heading is already styled now we need to style these images over here we need to display three images in a row for that we'll use css grids so let's go over here and type a comment and uh, we'll type section work container that is the name of our outer division and we'll set the display to grid now we can see all the images are one below the other now using display grid we can set a template of how our elements should look so for that you have to type grid template columns and we'll type 1fr 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 and now we can see three elements are displayed in one row so that's it with the images inside our my work section now the last thing we need to do in the my work section is that we need to change the color of the text of this button to light gray so if you go to the HTML we can see we also have given a class called light to this anchor tag so let's go to where we have written the styles for our button and here we'll type button dot light so if you have an element with a class of button and light we'll set the color of the text to FD 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 so now we have the right color for our button Alright, so that's basically it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you how to style the testimonials, the contact me and the footer. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.